Police in Newfoundland and Labrador say it's lucky no one was hurt after a riderless Arctic cat snowmobile careened along the Trans-Canada Highway for 12 kilometers. With their report of the riderless Arctic cat snowmobile are our snow machine experts, Mark Critch and Mike Allison. I sold it in the auto trader to a guy in Gander. Who sold it easy on Kijiji to a rich mainlander? That's when the ghost skidoo started to get scary. When I saw a set of skidoo tracks coming off the ferry, as the cat came back the very next day, my Arctic cat came back. I thought the tank was empty, but the cat came back. It just wouldn't stay away. One day I took my snowmobile for a spin across the bay. I jumped out the back of it, desperate to get away. I hid behind a snowbank, my body to conceal. Something tapped me on the shoulder. It was a snowmobile. Yes, the cat came back the very next day. My Arctic cat came back, full throttle and right hostile. The cat came back, I couldn't give the thing away. The cat started heading on its own up the highway. Somebody called the Mounties on the air and gas up sleigh. The Mounties said, no worry, boys, we'll shoot out the wheels. But the Mounties didn't realize there's no wheels on snowmobile. The cats couldn't catch it, and they were soon confounded. So they set up a roadblock in the hopes of being pounded. The Arctic cat did not mind that, and it just turned around it. The Mounties say, how would it do that? We had its front surrounded. Because the cat came back the very next day. The Arctic cat came back. These machines sure get good mileage. The cat came back. It liked living round the bay. The cat came back again and no one had to tow her. The cops couldn't ID her, sure its own owner didn't know her. It put on a disguise and dressed up as a snowblower. Now I'm gonna die a hostage yard, the cat now owns its owner. Cause the cat came back, it just couldn't stay away. Stop singing, it could hear you. The cat came back, it's ungodly. We should pray.